happened uh, sometime, basically in the 30s, they started playing gospel music with instrumentation like this. It wasn't a common thing before that very much because these instruments, both of these were considered the devil's work. And uh, that was just how it was. And they didn't, the worst thing you could do was to get your son a banjo or your daughter a fiddle, not violin in that sense, uh, playing the fiddle. Because there was just all kinds of, there was things like dancing, you know, and, and, and have a gospel song. But this was the first gospel song that was called a gospel song. It was actually written in the late 1800s, brought out and published in the early 1900s, written by Charles A. Tinley, a black preacher up in uh, Pennsylvania. And uh, for his sermons, he would give a song uh, to illustrate the sermon. This was just one of the songs that he did. He didn't get credit for this for a long time. It's just one of the good songs out of the old songbook, right? We're often tossed and driven on this restless sea of time. Summer skies are out in tempest, not succeed a bright sunshine. In that land of perfect day, we will still go away. We will understand it better by and by. By and by, when the morning comes, by the saints of God. Thank you. 